All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Studios. Man, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've just been really, really busy with the real world. And uh, YouTube had to take a little bit of a back burner, but we're about ready to get back up and running. Uh, as you can see, we're back in the Freedom Studio. So in any case, I uh, wanted to go ahead and do a video on a subject that I find is very interesting. But before we do that, uh, yeah, we're still working on the uh, Live Free Armory slide as well as that uh, Lone Wolf uh, grip module, which is really not working out very well for me, no matter what trigger I put in there. But we're gonna figure it out, we'll get it squared away. But the reason for this video is I'm driving up the road yesterday and I am hearing about this guy. He's the new district attorney for the city of New York. I guess his last name is Bragg. And Mr. Bragg, what he's wanting to do is redefine what a criminal is. Uh, also, redefining what a criminal is, what a criminal act is, and uh, taking away uh, a lot of the disciplinary actions that would normally be incurred by a criminal when they do an act. Now, one of the things that uh, he says, you know, our communities, uh, this is just common sense. This is, our communities are ridden with, you know, high crime rates. So if we eliminate what the definition of a crime is, well, then there won't be any crime. And this is the whole thing that I find is interesting as I drive through you know, my neighborhood and we have those signs that go, we believe and there's no such thing as a, you know, an illegal person or you know, anyone love, you know what, yada, yada, yada. You know what I believe is that as long as you have a group of folks that will redefine uh, our morals and ethics on a day-to-day -day basis to suit their cause or their agenda, we're going to be screwed if they continue to move forward like that. So this Bragg guy, what he's done is he, and I, just correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it just listen to me what I'm trying to say, okay? So what he's done is just redefined uh, a felony offense, or so say, for instance, somebody performs armed robbery with a firearm. Well, as long as nobody got hurt, no harm, no foul. It's not a felony offense. But here's the thing. Okay, not so much in New York City because they don't really have uh, a lot of people who are walking around with concealed carry guns. Uh, but I do know here where I'm at now in the state of Pennsylvania. <coughs> uh, yeah. So here's what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Bragg, Mr. Bragg, what you are doing is you are actually endangering these individuals. Okay and that they are going to think there's no harm, no foul if nobody gets hurt, and, I, and they are using a gun in an act of robbing an individual who, say, may have their concealed carry. It is, and as hard as it is to get that kind of thing in the state of Pennsylvania, no, not Pennsylvania, but New York, uh, my good friend Val, can, uh, and then uh, you also have uh, Uzi, not known, Uzi, not a millimeter, he's not up there. But in any case, there's a lot of people uh, who are carrying guns. And what's going to happen is that you are empowering these individuals to think it's okay that they can perform an armed robbery, act of armed robbery. Can you imagine sitting there and somebody walks up to you and, hey, uh, by the way, I've got my gun here and you need to give me your wallet. And I'm going to go, okay, hold, hold that thought. I'll be right with you. So what's going to happen, Mr. Bragg? Are you going to defend the individual who was defending himself with a gun in his face and then this guy, oh, no, well, wait a minute. I guarantee you this is what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's going to come in and go, did you have to kill this guy? I mean, was your wallet worth more than this guy's life? Because that's where we're heading. These people go, well, was your TV worth more than this guy's life? Well, you know what? That guy should have valued his life a little bit more before he stepped across the threshold or he pointed a gun at me, myself, my family, my children, or anyone else that I'm willing to die for to protect. So you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you think that Bragg's doing a good thing by, oh, I don't know, eliminating uh, the definition of a, of a crime? Or is he opening these individuals up to bloodshed because they think it's okay to rob people at the point of, of, a, of a handgun when those people who they're robbing may be also armed. So, eh, I got some mixed feelings about this thing. Y'all let me know what you think down below. I can't wait to get back at it. We've got a bunch of tabletop re review stuff that we're doing. We're going to do the FK Bruno. We're also going to uh, mount 
these uh, Trijicon night sights to this upper, and then uh, I may end up just going out and buying a Gen 4 Glock 19 to, to put this thing on because it is bad as hell. Also with that trigger from Timmy. But with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I said that before. We always hit them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Brag, you are endangering everybody with your ludicrous liberal ways. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom.